right as it turns to. Well, no, it is oh. seconds before Look at eleven thirty. Like this technically is... a whole minute early. This is such a level of professionalism <laughs> that I don't know if people can handle it. Um, now we're gonna get. We can't hear either of you. The video's broken. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All the things. Oh, now, I was going to say, I don't even think there's anybody here. That's fine. Whatever. We're doing this for us. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't I think we... It yet. Uh, did we even, like, tell people we were going to be streaming? It I guess... it. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. I will say, uh, you know, Rim, if you happen to be watching this currently live or later, uh, if there's a way that we can at everyone whenever one of our pages goes live, that would be helpful. Like I if if the bot would that. do it, I really? hate that. I hate having at everyone notifications. <clears throat> at every it's gonna do it more. At everyone notifications should be used at most once per day. Yeah. Oh, it's Zan. Oh, Penny. Look at this. Look at all <laughs> these nerdy queers. There are a bunch of nerdy queers. A bunch of them. <laughs> two. Two out of two. Well, <laughs> and we've got two nerdy nerdy people watching us. So That's I don't want to like call i i don't know about zan but eh, so many nerdy <laughs> queers up in here sophia's here um <laughs> it's like everyone saw witchy bullshit and they're here they're ready for it <laughs> so rick and i are gonna play a game <laughs> shocking <laughs> technically i don't think we're playing it today we're more like no that's true prepping for it but we are prepping it's part of but the play um, but this is a game, and I completely took down the thing I needed by K. Marlowe Allen, and it is called Your Friend in Witchcraft. And we are like a swarm of bees. I'm so glad everybody's here. Look at this. This is nuts. I mean, and I'm not, not even signed on. Yet, but you know. <laughs> I to me, four seems like so many. <laughs> Uh, so this is an epistolary game, which if you're like my husband and you're like, that sounds familiar, but I don't know what that means. It means we're going to write letters to each other. And he's like, like the Bible. And I'm like, very much <laughs> not like the Bible, but that's okay. This is like the anti-Bible. Yeah, of witchcraft. The witchcraft Bible. We're... Yeah, we could we could just like leave out that part. Okay, fair. Yeah. We're, who knows? Yes, Penny likes Sappho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if this gets spicy, I don't think it was supposed to. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, but the, the time that you came on to Together Among the Stars, there was That's... no plan for that to, like, become as flirty as it did. It was... <laughs> that was... A wild time, and and then if, Kayla's was also spicy. So yeah, go there you go. Um, because why wouldn't you flirt with your friends if you could? That's all true. the time true. in role playing games. <laughs> um, so we. I are like being... how you specify that. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. Um. So we are being two witches in a shared world, and we're we're going to kind of come up with our world together right now. Um, but we, one of us is a novice and one of us is an expert. It's me. And, I'm the novice. Oh yeah. You can be the novice. Cause I said, I have ideas yeah. for only we, one. We just talked about this all of five <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Already um, head empty. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So professional. Remember how we were a minute early and we were the most professional? It was a great time. Yeah. It'll <laughs> never happen again. Um, <laughs> uh, so we are going to build our world. We're going to build our characters. And then here's the thing. We are going to put our letters that we are writing each other up on the Even Footing Games Patreon. We are not going to put them behind a paywall. They are just going to be blog entries. So if you give us a follow over there, that is, oh, dang ads. <sighs> Bummer. All the more reason to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe 
without even um, paying anything besides to Amazon. I mean, you only get one, I think, but we could yeah. we could be your one. We could be your one. <laughs> Which is um, way flirtier than I meant it to say. <laughs> and so it begins. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I don't remember what I was talking about because I it's now fine. I'll just flirt just with our friends one. in the chat. Okay, that's great. That's a good <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. You all like it, and <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Gosh, our chat is unhinged. So are we. It's great. Sunday morning yeah. witchcraft. Um, help me out. What are we doing first? Um, I think. Well, let's talk about safety tools. You want to oh, get us started yes. on that? Sure. Okay. So uh, I think, and this is uh, really important. I think that lots of witchcraft has a lot of negative tropes to it. Um, a lot of anti-Semitism, anti-Romani uh, kind of uh, vibes. And we want to make sure that uh, we are being on the same page about what we choose to include or what we choose to disinclude so that we're building our world good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We also do and our words good. So good. <laughs> We're writers, guys. Can't you tell? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so what do you, like, I have some thoughts on this that, like, would be using all of the, all of the stereotypes in sort of, like, our, our witches are aware of them and kind of use them as uh, either ways to get away with not being seen as witches or, you know, using them to seem more witchy. Because we haven't decided, like, if we want to be, uh, like, what kind of a world, how right. witchcraft is seen in our world. But my idea would be, like, oh, we're kind of aware of it or we kind of play those stereotypes up to our ends. I don't know yeah. how you feel like you, about like it. Like you put on a, a fake witch nose just to. Yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. Or, or you have lots of little critters around your house and you tell people that they're for your uh, potion so that the, you know, local children don't come play in your garden. Oh uh, no, that's what, that's like when you have a little, um, like leave kids toys on the front porch. And just say those are the toys that like little kids left oh. before you, you cooked them and you know <laughs> and ate them. Yeah, and, and they, they <laughs> my my house isn't made of candy yet, but Give just wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it is uh, in some ways more challenging for us to use safety tools for a game like this where we're writing letters because we're not going to be interacting. That's directly true. most of the time we're going to be you know sending these letters so i think it, it's especially important so i guess you could call this like a session zero in a way yeah. um for us to establish those things so yeah um i don't know do you uh have any boundaries that you wouldn't want to talk about i would not want to talk about harming children in a not joking to keep the children away kind of way yeah yeah like <laughs> there's not going to be in our letters any graphic description of no. like children were actually harmed it's like we're saying that they were they weren't i i could see that i would want to use a lot of sarcasm and uh dark humor right um but not be like and i don't see in my view of a character i would be I would be crotchety and grumpy, but not evil. <laughs> right. And see, one of the things that we talked about before we started stream, uh, for those of you who are watching, is because, you know, Erin is playing the expert, I'm playing the novice, um, that she would potentially handwrite her letters. 
and then I would type them and we can kind of, you know, mess with that to make them look a certain type of way. But it kind of shows the difference of like someone who's a little bit older and maybe not as up on stuff because, you know, why would you? You have magic yeah. versus someone who's newer. So I could also see like maybe the novice using tone tags. So like slash sarcasm to end a sentence. And and she's like, I don't I don't know. Also, yeah, what time period are we? Are we modern? Well, I don't know. I didn't That's... think we were modern, but like maybe we're modern. <laughs> I've I've kind of gone back and forth on that. Like modern has a lot of fun potential to it. Yeah. But so does, you know, so many other time periods. So uh chat, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, Ooh. What time period you would like to see? That's a great idea. Um, also, I sort of want my, um, uh, oh, thanks for coming, Zan. Um, I kind of want, uh, I, I made up a name. Okay. That is Orpha Fenwhistle. Interesting. Because I needed a very old fashioned name. Although if also, we were modern, I might change it. <laughs> well, so something else I was going to say, um, because this is magic, there's nothing to say that we couldn't be in different time periods. What? <laughs> that mind blown. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. Like, it even says in here, you know, you don't have to be in, you know, old timey Salem. But for example, you know, your expert could be in old timey Salem. Yeah. While I'm in, you know, current day or. I could even be in the future. Who knows? <laughs> that is kind of amazing. And my mind is really <laughs> blown right now. And I sort of want to do it. Uh, I have. That's so crazy. So we've figured out some sort of time magic to do this. Because I think what we establish. By the way, before we go any further. Anything. Uh, topics you want to avoid before we. Oh, yeah. You did ask that question. And I completely. I did. <laughs> Uh, okay. Not ignored it. It wasn't intentional. Um, that's just how my brain is. Um, so, I mean, because we have played together quite a bit. and we That's have, true. Well, and because we have, you know, used our um, consent forms and things. I guess, actually, I don't know if I've given you one because. No, you haven't. A lot of times, a lot of times we've played babies, which there's not a lot of potential triggering stuff in that. No. But still not a bad idea. Um, Absolutely. And we're working on it. We're going to do better. Um, <laughs> yeah, so harm to children, definitely not like real or graphic. Um, yeah. I would say like probably in terms of like the, the form that I usually use where it has like green is this is okay, yellow is iffy, and red is mm -hmm. absolutely not. Probably yellow on, like, pet death. Yeah. Like, if it were a discussion of, like, you know, they they lost a pet, not in some awful graphic way, that I could be okay with, potentially, but it kind of toes mm -hmm. that line. Yeah, and that is, uh, but that is also something that I would have very... Just knowing because Rick and I are friends, what? I would have absolutely not done that for, right. because of recent sadnesses. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, let's just, we'll just put that off the table. Like, pet death is out. <laughs> yeah. And just harm to animals is one that, Yeah, it's usually more of a yellow for me. Like, there are times, I'm not saying it's okay to harm animals, but. There are times where I can see where it is maybe necessary for the story to not in a graphic way. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not glorifying it. We're not saying this is good, mm -hmm. but it happens. It is a part of life. So again, that's, that's kind of a yellow for me that depending on how it's handled. Yeah. Uh, and also uh, I'm not, I'm not much for graphic like violence at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would rather just say and well and also like I don't I don't foresee this being a violent game but 
Uh, it could be knows? though. I mean, like you it said, could. this is Absolutely. whatever we make of it. So you know, this could be like violent and body horror and all kinds of stuff. You know, if we yeah. wanted it to be that kind of game, but that's I don't think true. that's where we're going. No, I'm also a definite yellow on body horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just so we're all clear <laughs> um Aaron the other is not a horror person <laughs> yeah well the other big things like i don't think that i have gotten a single consent form back that has had this not as a red but like sa yeah. is a big one like i don't think that's even going to come up in this because no you kind of have to intentionally put that in there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's a, a big... Ooh, I don't know who this is. I don't know who that is. Hello. Somebody we don't know. Hello. <laughs> Person we don't know. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a big one that... I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure, if not all, then it's like 99% of consent forms I've gotten from any player has had that as a absolute red that's off the table. And I'm what okay I would with that say about that's that, never, yeah. that's never written into any of the games that I write and the games that I run. If it was mentioned in there, I probably wouldn't run that module to begin with. Yeah. Or if it was like a thing that I could easily just cut that out and then run the rest of it, then I would do that. I would think it would be fine if for some reason you decided your character had that in their backstory and needed to like not go into graphic detail but like have that be a part of their story however right. not in present time and not exactly. one while we're going over this so uh might as well just put it in red for that reason because you have to explain so much about it and say. i i do like um in our discord i shared under the looking for game uh, a couple days ago the mm -hmm. consent form that we got recently i like the that one has um, the same kind of columns of like, this is okay. I think it had the the yellow and then the red, mm -hmm. but it had towards players in the game in general. So like oh. you could say, if this happened towards my PC, it's a red. If it happened in the game in general, maybe it's a yellow. Yeah. So I think that, I think really that one cool. didn't go. That one didn't I don't have think as much I looked specific. at that yet. How dare. How dare. <laughs> I know. That one didn't have as much specific stuff on it as the one that I normally use, so I kind of want to uh, make my own now that combines the two. <laughs> yeah. But no, I also, uh, I also think that uh, just in the games we run in general, uh, getting more like on uh, player player uh, like sort of flirting would always mm -hmm. be good. <laughs> Because yeah, like, <laughs> where is our line on that? Like, uh, because we have done so, so much of, uh, like, and I think that when I first started playing with you, I put like, uh, like limited on that, like, or yellow, and you were like, and then, oh, and then Aaron Monster doesn't want to do any of that, and then it was just like, oh, we've played with each other for more than a year, and we're like, oh, okay, we're fine. <laughs> Yeah, and then Monster Hearts is just oops all flirting. Yeah. <laughs> and and more. <laughs> um but so what do we want are are we wanting to be in different time periods? I mean, at least a couple people in chat have said that they like that idea, so I think that that's I'm... a really interesting idea, especially like if you were a modern witch that could that did not have access to like resources from other which like for whatever reason yeah like maybe you know i went to the the local new age store and was like this is all bullshit like yeah not not that i'm actually yeah, no. considering that like that is a valid practice but you know if it's like these don't do what i want them to yeah. And then I found this, like, maybe there was a book, like, in the, the back corner. And maybe that's our, like, time travel magic is it's, you know, not to uh, get too into that, like, shitty turf book. But, yeah. you know, where you can, like, write back and forth between the different yeah. time periods. I think it's really interesting how you would 
kind of determine where in their timeline you're getting them their letter. Right. Um, you know, so that it's after, like, because it's all in the past for you, but it's like, oh, I need it to go slightly less past than last time. <laughs> it's a really interesting uh, thing. I also think it would be kind of a fun uh, writing challenge because I could write more old fashioned and yeah. I could absolutely n have no idea what you're talking what about. Was, was it? the lake house where they had like the mailbox i did not that they could like put a i've never seen it either i just remember hearing about it from like oh like yeah this. sorry um but that's also a really great idea like maybe my character made something and like your character found it in the far future and i didn't know until stuff started coming back like in this little secret cat cabinet or something yeah that's a kind of fun idea yeah maybe like you meant it to just like teleport stuff to the other side of the planet like to somebody else oh like i think i'm just goes... getting a pen pal yeah and i have no idea yeah <laughs> but it's amazing. from the future you're like this is weird parchment like why is it why is it so crisp <laughs> <laughs> that's so great why are their letters so uniform? I don't understand. <laughs> There's like no ink splotches at all. Their handwriting is impeccable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except that they don't make sense. <laughs> I, I, but also like, I, I like, like you could even potentially be speaking a totally different language. And uh -huh. maybe like my novice witch is just putting it into like a translator program and it, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, oh, this makes sense. And then I'm yeah. like translating it back to, you know, whatever yeah. language you're speaking in. That's but then so it like also would come out, you know, because they're not even uh, the big ones are like not perfect. So yeah. some of it would just be nonsense anyway, even if we were in the same time period. So great. <laughs> uh, also, I so I have a friend who every time she goes to um hong kong she she always brings me back like poorly translated into american <laughs> like little tchotchkes yeah <laughs> i love those or like i've seen the kind of meme post where somewhere in like china or something you know they had fucking sale because they thought that that like meant really great sale or something <laughs> that's amazing yeah. <laughs> I love it all so much. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it's already incredibly unhinged, so. Well, I I just, I'm absolutely, like, I had no idea. that <laughs> This is not at all what I had in mind, so I love it. Uh, absolutely. Um, do, so let's, let's, uh. I think we'll have to do less world building because of this, because each of us has our own world. I mean, less bit. and more though, because then we're, we're building two worlds. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun. <laughs> um, I don't want to be Salem. I yeah. That was be... just like the first thing that came to mind because they had written about that. I want to be like being pestered for like remedies and, uh, love potions and people like really really wanting me to be involved and like I really want to scare them away and make them <laughs> think that I am a bog person which was my initial inspiration was that the post in our discord where we were deciding and I was like yes I am a bog person that is exactly <laughs> the kind of which I want to be I want to have like you know plants and spiders crawling around and like I tell people that I'm using the spiders in my potions but actually I just like them which is not me but you know it will but be my character something that I was just thinking about and you know obviously it's still whatever time period you want it to be yeah. but like potentially depending on how far back you wanted to go your witch could be like the reason that those like stereotypes exist in my time uh -huh. and because it's kind of timey wimey like and i'm aware that this is a weird thing that maybe like i notice things change like maybe at yeah. halloween i'm like oh 
they were wearing like this different witch mask and like things totally changed from last year that's great because i i was thinking about it and i was like uh my witch could give advice like if you ever have a pimple make sure that you uh get some some charcoal and make it black so that people think you have warts like yeah. <laughs> like and then you can change the positions of them and they think that they're <laughs> spots and like <laughs> all that kind of stuff like draw on a unibrow kind of thing like <laughs> that will make people more afraid of you right um, but also i have this book that i have not gotten to use yet called Ooh. herbalist primer and it has all sorts of like what magical uses <laughs> are like so it's supposed to be for rpgs right um but it kind of tells you like what what these different things would do and so that's what i was kind of thinking like sort of a um kind of naturey potion making kind of um so like absolutely she has the remedy for all of those things right but she does not want anyone to visit her because <laughs> it that that would be peopling yeah whereas maybe maybe my novice is like the social butterfly and like wants people but people don't want potions in like this day and age they want like i don't know something else yeah um but i definitely i don't want mine to be historical i want mine to be fantasy like not real world uh but i would love if to be a the character one from a book oh <laughs> and like maybe mm, there's a, a few different ways we could go with that like maybe the author accidentally wrote some spell into the book that made yeah. you come to life like inside of this imaginary fantasy world or like Maybe I accidentally found something that made you come to life. Oh, like and not it's like, not like life, life, but yeah. This is so so fun to experiment <laughs> or to think about, like as a thought experiment. And I have absolutely no idea. Um, like even the whole idea of, and again, that turfy book is going to come into my mind. <laughs> but the writing back and forth in the same book, sort right. of thing which is a really kind of cool concept of um, like how are, how are we doing this? How are we sharing this idea? Like that sort of a thing being the connection of I had this at one point and wrote my secrets into it. And right. now maybe, maybe, instead of it being like the author maybe it's the fact that i imbued my magic into it and then i don't know exactly how we would make that well i mean we could say that because you know i think a lot of people have kind of had that thought that when you write a world it might exist out there like maybe our thoughts create that world mm -hmm. we just can't physically access it so maybe like once this author created your world, you then were like, I'm going to do whatever I want. And then you found a way to connect to, you know, the real world somehow mm -hmm. through your magic. Yeah. But I also like the idea of that we both like feel like we're just journaling to ourselves and are a little mm -hmm. bit surprised that somebody else's words are like, you know, like maybe right. it's a fancy like book and we're like oh this is kind of old looking and weird that it's not um like nothing's ever been written in it or i make a book because i'm the old-fashioned one and right. i'm like why are why are there words showing up in this and like that's crazy and realistically like we could we could even say i could be sending an email to someone <gasps> and it shows up in your book and you could write something and it shows up as an email for me. Yeah. That's amazing. Which also I love the image of like for our, our blog posts, you know, your handwritten letter, but then also, uh, you know, use like Canva to make it so it looks like it's an email attachment. 
So it's like this old timey thing contrasted <laughs> with yeah. you know, the email aspect of it. That's so great. <laughs> so great. I love it so much. I hope someone who is not either of us is writing these down because we're definitely not. I, well, and we've got it recorded. Right. Um, but I don't feel like we've actually settled on anything. Yet. No, not at all. We're just saying a bunch of unhinged shit and just making it even worse or better. Yeah. Or, be well, better. This is, I mean, none of this was chosen. They want you to do. <laughs> Heads or tails, should you have an old-fashioned name or a name that inspires fear? <laughs> I will say, I don't like that what they give you is really limited yeah. in this. Like, the heads or tails is kind of meh for me. Uh, so, I like just choosing for myself because that's I, what we are going to do. Yeah, I actually, and they even say at the back of the book, like, please make your own archetypes. They were doing that for ease that they did a couple of them. Right. Honestly, none of them really rang true for what I had been thinking about, but um oh my gosh, I actually really like the idea that like I have a journal and maybe you just have a word document that you are journaling in. But then like there's this weird like it's in a different font. Yeah. And it just like <laughs> like a but and it's like a JPEG that shows up because it's an image, not not a not a doc. Like and we it's... could even like if we wanted to get really fancy with it, we could even make it so it like fucks up all of my text, like it's a <laughs> word document, and you just pasted the image in the middle of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> it's that's so fun though, and it's fun mm -hmm. with the formatting and stuff to be able to do the different types of things. I really like that idea. <laughs> um and so, like, I, I also kind of like the idea because at first I had said that I did not think my witch should be anybody's first choice right? of, like, a witchcraft uh, expert. Like, you weren't even maybe, a choice. So I didn't even yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what you would probably, like, probably ask, like, four other witches and then, like, oh, I guess that crazy in the bog is, I guess. But, oh, my God. But what if this, this is, case, like... What if this is like my live journal? Oh, <laughs> and you could make it look all like you could make a one of those freaking rose mouse things. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is so ridiculous, and I love okay, it. Okay, <laughs> so circa early two thousands, it's your live journal and my witch journal. That are like our grimoires, but for some reason are connected. Oh, maybe yours show up as comments for me. But it's weirdly like a comment that's an image attached. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even know you could do that. How are you responding yeah. with pictures? How are you hacking my journal? Like, what are you... <laughs> and she's like, I don't... What's hacking? What? <laughs> like, hacking it trees or grass like i don't get it um that is so much fun <laughs> i think i like that one best i think okay I think that's what we do. okay so we're live live journal uh and 2003 yeah live journaling. and then uh i'm going to be i'm going to be like having a grimoire kind of journal uh that i just write my stuff in and then all of a sudden i've got your like self self aware <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun some of it's just like really sad like yeah <laughs> definitely lots of emo song lyrics mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> no no one knows about the the greatness that was like <laughs> Just like end every single one of my posts with I'm not okay. Yeah. But like a little X, a big X in front of it, and then like a, a big X in the, <laughs> at the end. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. So amazing. <laughs> um I also I was if you were in super modern times, I was gonna say like I was I wanted to make the joke of if you ask my pronouns, I would say that I used I and me pretty much exclusively for myself. I mean, Live Journal still exists. We could just say, like, 
I'm someone who it wasn't a phase for, and I'm still <laughs> emo in 2024 because it's not yeah. a phase, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if Millie's still doing her live journal. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> that She's even dark and pretty. Yeah. It hasn't, it hasn't come, come up, up again. again. You're right. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking of a name. And I went with uh, just the fantasy name generator because that's like the best site ever yeah. for so many things. Um and it's a little bit old fashioned, but also maybe I just had weird parents, like like hippie parents or something. Uh -huh. um, so I'm thinking like Bevan with a B. Oh no, that's that's totally. I mean, that's early. Or, or it, like it comes back around. Yeah, exactly. It's a little that's, old timey, but like. Or yeah. just your parents are kind of eccentric, and we're trying yeah. to be hip. Like that's yeah. fine. So I'm thinking um, like Bevan Orlando. Bevan Orlando, wonderful. <laughs> Pronouns for your character. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that they're gonna change. Okay. Well, and I honestly don't. We don't actually have to know that about each other. I feel like if this is eventually, me like it might come up. up. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if this is me live journaling, then maybe like. Maybe like Bevan is talking about like their like questioning their identity and uh -huh. all that kind of stuff and yeah I like that okay um for those who do have the reference because Rick is uncultured swine that they are uh, hasn't read Discworld I'm going for a very Granny Weatherwax kind of vibe. Um, I'm extremely excited about it. Um, and we will get Rick to read some Discworld. <laughs> Allegedly. It's, it's, you just gotta do a little bit. Like, just, <laughs> you gotta just, you know, just, oh, just a tiny bit. Just the tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we uh, thinking course. for like signature items? Um, signature items is that uh, page eight? I think I have a hat. I think I for sure have a hat. Um, that is, or honestly, I want to say that my witch is trying out different looks to see which is the best at keeping people away. <laughs> Um, like maybe one day she's only like wearing a hood and one day she's like, I've knitted this new, like weird bubbly hat, like <laughs> with lots of extras. Um, I think she probably puts a lot of twigs in her hair, like, like to you. make people think she's crazy and, you know, just any, anything that, so I feel like that's going to be something that I am working on. I'm. I'm in the process of really finding my witch hat. But you might have like like a signature item that you already have. That's true. Maybe my broom. Maybe I have a fancy broom that I'm like okay. really trying to work on. Like I really would like it to be able to fly, but it doesn't do that yet. So it's maybe if I just um, spend some more time with it, maybe it'll get there. I just had like the thought that, um, you know, sometimes they talk about like what their, um, like the varnish on it. Oh yeah. Maybe yours is like the tears of local men who you've tormented. Yeah, definitely. Well, <laughs> I was, th I was thinking also that my, uh, my, which has like not, uh, is, is definitely trying to keep people away, except that probably, you know, the woodcutter comes by or something like that. Right, like right. she's definitely, she, she's, she's not, she's granny weather wax to a T like she, <laughs> she she's, gets it she's on. getting some, but like only, <laughs> only when she wants it, when she wants, <laughs> 
I love that. <laughs> She's um, not lonely. She's an independent lady. So. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> trying to think what would fit with like a modern. Yeah, modern modern witch. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe they found some kind of like at a flea market. Um, Ooh, nice. It could have even been from your character, or it could have been like from the same time period or something. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Like maybe I had a, like a talisman necklace. Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe that's what's connecting. We maybe Ooh. we figure out that eventually that's why we're getting each other's. That's a great idea. Yeah. That's how you're hacking my live journal. There you go. <laughs> it's through the I mean, maybe we'll never figure that out, but just we'll know. Right. That maybe that's what's the connection and why. I um, feel like I feel like Bevan's totally gonna talk about like, you know, going to the, the thrift store and finding this cool necklace and then you know, you're just gonna be like, That's weird. I had a necklace like that. Well, and maybe I haven't even found it yet. Right. Like it could be that like at Ooh. the point like it's it has imprinted in between us but like it is a thing where it's still in my future yeah we get into like the the you know infinite loop there but like yeah if if like i somehow maybe at the end of this end up like sending it back oh so that like Whoa. then you get it for the first time and then it later comes to me yeah that's that's really fun. It's like the sisterhood of the traveling pants, but with <laughs> with a necklace. <laughs> and you know, spoilers. Sorry for for everybody reading. That may or may not happen. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, no. But I like I like the necklace. That's a good. Yeah. And we and can figure out like in our letters what that looks like. Or maybe like my grandma or somebody had it, and I. No, like I have it, but it's lost. Yeah. It's like, oh, that sounds very familiar to me. Like you're describing it. And I'm like, it's weird. Like <laughs> I have something very similar. Or we could even, we could do that with something else. Like maybe the necklace is how we're connected, but then mm -hmm. we have something else that like comes up. Like maybe, maybe I find like a lot of little knickknacks and things that are like yours that went missing. Or maybe you're like a descendant. It could be both. <laughs> yeah. Both is good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I This is so much fun. I'm like, honestly, feeling so great <laughs> about this. Um, what, uh, what do you think your home is like? Ooh, you skipped one. I did? Uh-huh, the familiar. Oh, my familiar. I was thinking about the familiar. I hadn't gone that far. Um, yeah, Bevan definitely has a frog. Uh, I'm going to be honest uh, that Orla or Orpha, I can't remember what I said. Orpha. It's both. It's both. <laughs> uh, Orpha has all the familiars. She lives in a Ooh. bog. She just, like, kind of collects animals. Yeah. Like, also, she definitely does have a honey like a hive that she takes care of. I don't know that they're her familiars. I was like, what kind like, of honey are you talking about? Cause. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're already, we're so we're th this. Oh my God. Going back to uh, the woodcutter. What if the woodcutter is a woman? A Cause like cutter. in, in like, you know, typical old timey stuff, you would see like a man as the woodcutter. Orpha knows all the woodcutters, both male and female and non-binary, if they have those terms where she is. They probably don't have those terms, but I mean, <laughs> we know that non-binary people existed. So. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I I feel it. Orpha's got Orpha's just a woman a list of many of, the of many local tastes. <laughs> Probably, yeah. The, the the if you're a descendant, uh, at least for a while, she didn't know who who the who the dad is because yeah. you know what, she gets around. <laughs> also, also we have magic. 
Like, yeah, it could be a dad who is actually a mom, or absolutely, Ooh, yeah, or a non-binary parent. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. No, I think I probably do have a cat. That's probably my most familiary. But right. I think that my I am a uh, on the edge of a bog. Many animals hanging out. Um, Little alligators and frogs and turtles and and yeah, lots of lots of animal, lots of uh, you know whatever bog flowers are, uh, <laughs> because my my bees need to pollinate them. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, as far as home, I feel like. Just a contrast, I want to be in a really big city in, like, mm -hmm. a tiny apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Got a studio. <laughs> like, barely even big enough for my bed and my, like, frogs will have it at. Yeah. Uh, and I'm definitely... Like, I don't think that my cabin or, like, my cabin or hut or whatever is big. But, like, I have a lot of land around it. To Bevan, it's enormous. <laughs> Probably. I mean, like, I have a place for, uh, like, a like a chair and a place to, like, um, sit down and, and drink some tea. And a bed nook over on the <laughs> other side that's, I can't even reach across, which is... <laughs> Whereas wild. Bevan can reach everything in the room yeah. from yeah. anywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, something my community values. Individuality, for sure. I mean, do you have much of a community? I think that there are probably other witches I Who you write real they... letters to? <laughs> well, so I'm, you know, I'm being kind of inspired by the Terry Pratchett, but like the witches that have a coven in the Terry Pratchett books, the two older ones were not, they knew each other, but they only are in a coven when I can't remember if her name is, I can't remember what the young <laughs> one's name is, but they only are a coven because she told them that they needed to be in a coven and they're all, you know, like not about it really. And I mean, like, if Elena is still in chat, they might be able to tell us. Yeah. I think it starts with an M, but I can't think of it. Um, and I definitely don't want to like <laughs> dig through the book for dig through my books. Cause I was going to say, maybe I had one of the witches books within reach, but I don't know which one. Um, yeah. So my thought is that like, maybe there is a strong sense of community among other witches. And I'm just like, not about it. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, I feel like her name's Mary. It's going to be like something basic. Just because yeah. that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. It's <sighs> can't remember. I'm Googling, but like, of course, nothing's telling me names now. It's like Miriam or um, Martha. Or, I don't know. The It's going to be. Oh, my God. Why is no Mar one telling me the freaking names? Um, oh, wait. Here we go. Margaret. Uh, Margaret. Um, That's what it is. Yeah. Margaret. It's Margaret. That's how you, you were, say it. You were close. Margaret. Same thing. Yeah. I, it's, yeah, close enough. Words are hard, okay. Yeah. It's um, hmm. But Nanny Og is definitely the more like, she's the more loving grandmotherly, and Granny Weatherwax is like the uh, more curmudgeonly. And I want to go that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is my community value? Are there a lot of witches? Because that was Probably part of the not. thing is that, that you don't have a great deal or maybe they just don't match up with your values. I don't know. Right. Just imagining like a, a witch tender. <laughs> <laughs> just not getting any matches. <laughs> no, definitely not. But it's only to find like a mentor 
Yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. I feel like because there aren't a lot of witches, it would just be like my regular community. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they're going to probably be the opposite where they really value uh, like community and closeness and maybe a little too much to the point that I'm like, you know, this other witch has some, some good ideas about like scaring people off. I was going to say. Personal boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, especially if that's not what you're asking for, but that's all I'm giving. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that's great um which would actually potentially tie into the problem i'm currently facing like really not having someone to kind of help me with uh -huh. things and then also like all of these neighbors who are constantly like wanting to spend time with me and i'm like no go away yeah <laughs> <laughs> or or maybe you live like on a hippie commune with like, like everybody's all in everybody's business, and you're like, oh man, maybe the, maybe eventually. I gotta use like a hotspot to to get on my laptop that I had to sneak in. <laughs> oh man, yeah, uh, I kind of like that. <laughs> so like, you're all about like you're so community focused, and I'm like, nope. You know, give me my animals and my woodcutters. Like, that's yeah. all the people I need to see. And all these kids who want love potions. I'm like, get out of here, kids. But, like, over time, as I'm, as I'm like, communicating back and forth, not really realizing, I'm like, yeah, maybe this is too much. Maybe, maybe I need to people less. Yeah. And maybe <laughs> I need to people more. Maybe we'll learn from each other. <laughs> the real witches we made along the way. Um, we have to have something that we regret. Oh, where was that? Uh, choose a regret that you carry with you. That's after community values. Oh, that's weird. I don't see that right. on like any of them. It's on 19. Hmm. If I could read. Oh, I think that's just for you. Oh, because that's under that's under the elder. Oh, or the expert. I, I mean. you know, my bad. No, that's okay. I only printed out one because I <laughs> didn't want to print use oh, all my I paper. Bet, I bet that that's like mine is the problem I'm currently facing, and then that's yours. Oh, okay. So my regret then. I, I feel like maybe like I I had like somebody special at some point like because they said uh, turn down an old marriage proposal um, and I kind of like that but also I feel like we've done the woodcutter enough like maybe the woodcutter like really wanted a relationship <laughs> and I was like mm, maybe not so maybe yeah. that's something that I've kept them at arm's length. And maybe all of them. Yeah. <laughs> maybe there's only one. I don't know. We'll <laughs> we'll find out. You know, maybe my witch is into my witch is very poly. Yeah. Maybe I'm trying to create a commune eventually. <laughs> trying to make you a little polycule and <laughs> exactly. also trying to not have anything to do with people as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Such a, the dichotomy. Oh mm -hmm. man. What a conundrum. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, what, anything else? Uh, do we want to say whose letter shows up for first? Ooh, uh, why don't we, do you have a coin handy? I do not, but I have a die and I, you could choose even or odd. Yeah, um, I'll go odds. Odds for you, so, evens for me. Yep. It's even, so I, my letter is going to show up. Or my... <laughs> journal entry kind of thing right um oh, actually i feel like if we're gonna go the live journal route i almost have to go first oh that's a good point but maybe was... maybe mine's just like something really short like yeah 
I don't know what to write here. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. And then yours pops up and then it's like, oh, what is this? Why are you in my book? <laughs> what is going on here? You're like, what is an LOL? What does that mean? Yeah. Uh, lol, I, lol, I don't understand. Why do you um, always end your sentences with XD? <laughs> what? What? What does that even mean? <laughs> Whose initials are those? <laughs> yeah, those are those your initials. Um, I'll start every, OF because. <laughs> and then, then Bevan is like, "Why are you always talking about your OF?" Like, <laughs> yeah, and it, Bevan thinks <laughs> that she has an OnlyFans. <laughs> But can't figure out how to block you for some reason. Like, there's no option to block because I just think initially that you're like a spam bot promoting your OnlyFans. Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is so ridiculous. And I love this it. Is the, <laughs> this is the weirdest OnlyFans ad I've ever seen. It just talks about only... potions. Yeah. There's no boobs anywhere. No more feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man um i'm super I was gonna say excited something about else. there this. was something oh um because people you know aren't going to like we're not gonna sit here and draw our card and oh, yeah. all that kind of stuff um do we want to like talk oh, about just, yeah yeah let's you it's, you go ahead so yeah talk about the Mechanics that are, uh, yeah. I, if she so, has no F, who knows? Right. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at our everyday prompts. Um, uh -huh. and it's just, you know, it talks about like if you want inspiration for how you can write your letter, like what you want to include in it, you can draw a card from the Minor Arcana. And actually, just for shits and giggles, like I'm not going to write it right now, but yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I also think that um, oh, those stuck together. Um, it'd be good if we include like a picture of our tarot card. Oh yeah. Whenever we make the post, like yeah, it'd we be do really have easy some for me. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, cards. I was gonna say like this is the back of mine, and I drew this card. Ooh, okay. I really like that art. Right. It That's is, great. What was the it's the ethereal shadow tarot. I got it from Etsy. Um, I am going to have to figure out because mine do not have the normal minor arcana. Mine have things like <laughs> parchment and ink. Yeah. Uh, because they are literary tarot cards from the Kickstarter <laughs> that happened that was uh benefiting libraries of some variety. And I was like, hey, I love libraries. I love right? books. Why wouldn't I want some cool tarot cards? But I'm going to have to figure it out. Also, Sophia, what do you mean tricks with broomsticks? Like, is that a phrasing moment? Or is that like... No, no. Or is that like you're doing kickflips They flips literally on meant because, yeah, the tricks with the broomsticks were because I I sign everything OF and you think it's an OnlyFans. Mm, mm. So if I'm talking about my broomstick, you're like... Well, maybe that's it. Right? <laughs> is, that, is that what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> so no. let's see. Um, For the King of Pentacles, what kind of prompt is that? Ooh, that's interesting. So this is for my first letter. Uh, King of Pentacles is tell a story about the origins of your signature item. <gasps> that's perfect. What a way to start. That that is a great thing. Oh my gosh. So, so that's going to be what my first letter is about. I'm not going first on the letters. I'm just going to have, you know, my little like new journal who this yeah, 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 yeah. thing. As oh. you know, in 2024, Bevan is starting a live journal for the first time. <laughs> yeah. The well, very or hip or it's whatever website I, of I really like it being live journal because it's of out, course me too outdated <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah, don't think very is... many people use it other than like George R. R. Martin there you go 
<laughs> yeah, it just says ink is for passion, willpower, and inspiration. Light is for emotion, imagination, and intuition. I, I hope hmm. there's a one to one setup, or I'm going to just have to like say that there's a one to one setup. Right. Um, there almost has to be somewhere. Yeah. So the other thing that we use the deck for is the arcane acts, which yes. is like inspiration for details about anything magic related. Um, and you know what? Let's just, for shits and giggles, do that too, because we have said that the, the necklace is potentially mm -hmm. what connects us magically. Yeah. So, and this one we're going to, what the hell? I got, I got the magician. The mage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is, this is too weird. This is too perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, and then this one, they don't give you a prompt. You have to interpret it, which, yeah. I mean, there's a pretty straightforward interpretation of the magician <laughs> and the mage. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh, but what if, what if uh, the necklace wasn't yours originally and it belonged to some other magical person, like some, like, Merlin or something, you know, mm -hmm. somebody super famous, and like we mm -hmm. both ended up with it somehow. Ooh, okay. We'll have to figure that out along the way. Who yeah. may piece that together? Um, again, though, if you want to do these, uh, you do not have to be a patron of Even Fun and Games. All you have to do is follow the like for free, and then you will get. Uh, these letters when we post them, which I think uh, we'll try to probably post. Uh, um, I do have a vacation coming up, but I think we can probably commit to at least having a letter posted every week. Yeah. Um, maybe even quicker than that. Um, we will go through four seasons yeah. doing this. Um, so I think one it, a week would be best that way. It kind of lets us spread it out a little bit. It also gives us a little bit more time, you know, if we get busy with life and yeah, can't write a letter as quickly. I'm going to, I was thinking maybe that we each write like, so that in a week there are two letters is my thought. Mm, yeah. But, um, and so all you have to do is, and we may even put it on our discord channel so that, those are easier, but it will be more less formatting, maybe. Yeah. Um, but and so please, oh, I I probably have a banner for Discord. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Um, but also, really quick before we go, um, Rick and I are both uh working with the TTRPG talk, um, Doctors Without Borders um charity drive and that's the one i'm gonna put up instead um do you want to talk about that and why they should go give money for team blue green that's green now yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh i mean i know that they said that it could get our stream pulled to talk too much about uh, where specifically, but uh, if you know what's going on in the world right now, uh, Doctors Without Borders is doing a lot of great things for people who really, really need it uh, in places, especially that are like war torn and bad stuff is going on. So uh, there's a lot of really cool rewards from people who are way more famous than us on there. Absolutely. Uh, We're not famous. Yeah. I. <laughs> Like, ugh, it blows my mind. Some of the people. Who yeah. Are in do that you want to? Do you want to play a game with Mr. Kurt Wise, or um, be interviewed by Jordan Brown? That's kind of cool. Um, just a whole bunch of random stuff. You can absolutely pick up a physical or PDF copy of Babies and Broadswords. Any of the books, we will send you those. Assuming that you're in the United States. Sorry, Alana. <laughs> it is ridiculously expensive to ship to Canada. I don't understand yeah. why. Uh, also, I think 
is is Don Marshall's uh, <laughs> reward that you get like thirty minutes to just harass him about Lord of the Rings, or was that just bullshit? I don't, I don't know. I don't know because Don Marshall's on the other team, and yeah. uh, I was only plugging green prizes but 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 even if you get like a a prize from the red team if you tell them it's for the green team we still get the credit what you're kidding me no well yeah hopefully hopefully that means (laughs) that the ones that i purchased that one was for another team that yeah it's credited to us us. it should come back to us i mean we're (laughs) kicking their asses so that's true (laughs) You know, it's a it's a friendly competition to help raise more money, but we still want to win it. Of course we do. <laughs> and also, Jordan Brown evidently is the most competitive person on the planet. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. And I'm so glad we're on the same team. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my cat has come. My cranky black cat that's my familiar has come to. <laughs> yep. Yep. He is <laughs> loving the computer screen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come here, baby. Come here. You can come be here. No, he's like, no, I just want to harass your computer, not you. Thank you. Uh, do we have anything else that we need to do or talk about, Rick? Mm-hmm. Probably, but do I remember it? No, not at all. No, and we've been on for an hour. Yeah. Um they, Yeah, they can forward it. That would be good. Um so all of those things, but then somebody is still paying a yeah. lot for shipping. Yeah. But, but I, don't, I don't see anybody really online who we can even raid unless you have somebody. I I don't. Um, also, I suck at raiding. Well, yeah, I was going to say, if you had somebody, I can do the raid since it works for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it... You know, it's just, there's just a little, little bit of cat in my, yep, there we go. (laughs) It's fine. You've just become the cat. (laughs) That's, you know, I don't normally stream from in front of my bookshelf, but when I do, (laughs) I get friends. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm really excited about this. Um, I hope you guys are too. Because I really love exploring kind of different sorts of mechanics in RPGs. And I'm really excited about this idea. So, yeah. and we've got quite the, quite the story <laughs> that should unfold, especially if they figure out that they're in different time frames. Right. <laughs> they may not. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just think, wow, how pretentious is this person? (laughs) I'm here for it. (laughs) Absolutely. Thank you so much to all of our friends who came by and talked. We love you. And we'll see you later. Bye.